Hello everyone. Welcome back with another video lecture on veterinary entomology. In this lecture, I'm going to discuss gastrophilosis or horse bird flies infestation. First, I will discuss the important species that cause gastrophilosis or horse bird flies infestation. Then, I will highlight the morphological features of the causal agent and its life cycle followed by pathogenic significance, diagnosis and treatment of gastrophilosis or horse bird flies infestation. If you want to get more video lecture on veterinary entomology, please subscribe the channel. So let's get started. This is the geological classification of different flies. You know, we study different veterinary important arthropods under the suborder Nematocera, Brachycera, and Cyclohepa. You can see the different important families under the suborder Cyclohepa. Flies under the Stridae family, commonly known as nasal bot fly, warble fly or a stomach bot fly. They are moderately large bee-like flies with vestigial or primitive mouth parts. Due to rudimentary mouth parts of the adult flies, they can't feed, rather imbibe the fluid only. These flies have small eyes located in large intraocular space. Larva of these flies are stout, thick, an obligatory endoparasite of different mammals. There are four important subfamilies under the family Estridae. They are Estrini, Hypodermatini, Gasterophilini, and Cutervini. Species of Gasterophilini subfamily are the name of different horsebird flies. They are commonly known as stomach bird fly of equines cause gastrophilosis or horse bird fly infestation. The major species are Gasterophilus intestinalis, Gasterophilus nasalis, Gasterophilus hemorrhoidalis, and Gasterophilus picorum. The first three species are distributed worldwide, but the most common species is Gasterophilus intestinalis. The minor species that infest equines are also listed here. Please note that the stomach bot fly of Indian or Asian elephant is Covaldia elephantis, and African elephant stomach bot fly is Covaldia exodontis. Morphological features of Gasterophilus species are horse bot flies. Adult gastrophilins are robust, brown in color, and around 1 to 2 cm in length. Bot flies have hairy head and thorax and somewhat similar to honeybees. The mouth part of these flies are primitive or non-functional. Host scatulum is undeveloped and squamy are small. Each wing has an open apical cell where brain 4 doesn't bend towards brain 3. Irregular dark transverse band on the wings can be seen for gastrophilus intestinalis. The bars of the larvae are usually reddish orange in color, cylindrical in shape, and around 1 to 2 cm in length. Mouth hooks of this larvae are very well developed. Posterior spiracle of the larva are opened by three bent slits in a shallow concavity. The larval insta 3 can be differentiated based on the numbers and distribution of spines on various segments. For an example, gastrophilus intestinalis causes double rows of spine on each segment, whereas one row of ventral spine is characteristic feature, features of gastrophilus nasalis. 
life cycle of gastrophila species or horse butterflies. The adult female lay eggs at different locations of host body. Gastrophila intestinal lays eggs in various locations, preferably on the hairs of four legs and shoulders. The third broad fly, that is Gastrophila intestinalis, lay eggs in the intermandibular region or beneath the jaw. Gastrophila hemorrhoidalis and Gastrophila inermis lay eggs around the lips or on the cheeks, respectively. Gastrophila picorum lay eggs on the hoofs, legs, or on the grass. These eggs are creamy white to pale yellow in color, except for those of Gasterophila hemorrhoidalis and Gasterophila picorum, which are dark brown to black in color. Eggs are around 1 to 2 cm in length and are easily seen. Eggs hatches spontaneously or by the warmth of self-grooming. Hatching of the eggs takes around 4 to 5 days. The first instal larvae reach to mouth of the host by crawling or during licking or self-grooming. Then this larvae penetrate the buccal mucosa, tongue and wander in these tissues for a few weeks. The first instal larvae mold to second instal larvae here before reach to a stomach by a pharynx or esophagus. In a stomach, these larvae attach to gastric mucosa by the mouth hooks. It is noted that the, the red larvae of Gastrophila intestinalis favors the cardiac region, whereas yellow larvae of the Gastrophila nasalis attach around the pylorus of the stomach and occasionally in duodenum. Larva remain and develop to larval insta 3 in this uh, site uh, for a period of 10 to 12 months. Finally, they detached and passed through feces. In case of Gastrophila hemorrhoidalis, the larvae reattach themselves in rectum for a few days before passing out through feces. Afterwards, Pupation takes place on the ground and adult flies emerges within one to two months. It is noted that the adult flies don't feed and live for a few days or weeks. In the meantime, this they mat and lay eggs for next generation. Medical and veterinary significance of gastrophilosis or horse butterflies infestation. First, I will discuss the clinical significance of gastrophilosis or horse butterflies infestations in equines. Adult flies lay their eggs on various parts of the body, especially on or near the head region, which annoy the animal and may cause them to panic. The migrating fast instal larva found on the superficial tissues of the buccal epithelium generally produce no reaction. But burrowing by the larvae in the mouth lining, tongue, and gum can produce stomatitis, resulting formation of past pockets, loosened teeth, and loss of appetite of the host. Ulceration of the esophageal region of the stomach is more common in gastrophilus intestinalis infestation or infection. Larva provokes gastritis followed by ulceration of the stomach. Ring-like thickening is seen around the base of the larvae. Funnel-shaped ulcer on the esophagus and stomach are evident during post-mortem examination. In heavy infestation, chronic gastritis, ulceration, perforation followed by peritonitis may result the death of the animals. Closely packed larvae may block the intestine 
or may interfere with the passage of the food or the action of the sphincters. The larva of Gasterophilus hemorrhoidalis may cause irritation followed by proctitis due to their temporary attachment in the rectal wall. Medical importance of gastrophilosis or horse butterfly infestation. In abnormal hosts such as in man or other animals may infested with horse butterflies. They may cause creeping eruption or creeping meiosis due to penetration and migration of the larva in the host skin. Diagnosis of gastrophilosis or horse butterflies infestation. It is very difficult to diagnose the horse butterflies infestation as there is no way of detecting the presence of larva in the stomach. The complaint of the owner about the larvae or the boars in the feces need to be considered. Along with this, some non-specific clinical sign such as off feed, indization, poor performance of the horses can be observed. Appearance of eggs on the hairs of different regions of the host body and observation of boars in the feces aid in the diagnosis of this disease. Death due to horse butterflies infestation is rare. Postmortem examination of dead horse may reveal larva in stomach and ring-like lesion on along with funnel shape ulceration on the gastric mucosa. Treatment of gastrophilosis or horse butterflies infestation. Some old treatments include the oral administration of different organophosphorus insecticides. Care must be taken about the doses because inappropriate dose may lead to develop resistance against the agents used. Ivermectin or Doramectin or Moxidectin is recommended for the treatment of this disease. Along with this treatment, frequent grooming is highly recommended for the removal of the eggs. Sponging to the egg laying area such as on the chest, forelegs, chin with insecticide treated water can also be done to kill the larvae. So these are the reference material that I have used for the preparation of this presentation. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to share and subscribe this channel. Thank you so much and good luck for your studies. Mm -hmm.